going on YouTube? Welcome back to another KJ's video. Today we are in sunny Vallejo, California, and I'm trying to find some spots here to shoot some photography. Hold on, there's something popping down over here. What happened down here? Oh, they're, uh, they're, they're, filming a, they're filming a movie. You're actually gonna have to cross on the other side. And then, uh -huh. Yeah. Is it like that 13 Reasons Why thing? Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. Interesting. All right, so I just talked to this security guard right here. This dope security guard, he's cool. Um, but if you guys ever watched that series on Netflix called 13 Reasons Why, they're actually shooting that right here. So if you guys didn't know, 13 Reasons Why takes place in uh, Vallejo, California. A lot of their shots are taken here. That's Monet's Cafe right up there. So, yep, that's pretty dope. That's a set of 13 Reasons Why. Can't really show it, because I'll get in trouble, but 13 Reasons Why, <laughs> that's crazy. It's cool because I've been watching that show for the last, like, two to three weeks. And that's really good. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. Since I can't be here right now, I'm gonna kind of dip. I kind of got a good idea of where I want to take this shoot, but you know, crash that movie set anyways. <laughs> we're gonna go camera hunting. Um, I'm gonna try to stick strictly in, actually no, we'll go everywhere. All right, let's go. All right, so we're at the first spot. Usually on these days, I strike gold, especially at this location, so we'll see. For a fact, last week I got some dope, which is in tomorrow's video. Anyways, I'm gonna just go head on in there. Baby, that's all we need. Alright, so made it back from all the thrift shops and to be honest, I found some really dull finds. Let me just show you guys real quick. talk to you guys about something that I've personally been enjoying for the last I think three to five months mainly uh, one zine that I've been particularly feeling lately was this guy right here and this is slamming by Dale Decker so if you guys don't know who Dale Decker is he's a skateboarder from the LA area he has a YouTube channel it's called Dale Decker <laughs> uh, he shoots 35 millimeter photography just like me um, 
he inspired me in the past as well to go out and make my own zines. But I just wanted to show you guys this zine right here because I've been enjoying it, digging it, it's really dope. So, especially for the person who designed this, props to you because man, this thing is so sick, especially because it's on black ink. Every, like the whole entire zine is black ink. All right, so first page slamming. My Dale Decker has a picture right here in the front of a tree uh, and some sunset. So pretty sure that was taken on Golden Hour. Really cool, it was like an isolation picture. So the first opening page, if you look at it, look at that. Do you guys see that? This is all on 35 millimeter film. Uh, I'm pretty sure watching his vlogs and stuff, he says he shot this on Portra 400. A lot of this stuff was like, you know, shot out there on Minolta SRT 101. By the way, Minolta gang. But yeah, man, if you guys haven't already, check out Dale Decker, amazing photographer, amazing skateboarder, uh, just very inspirational with his work. Um, the reason why I made zines in the past is because of his zines. Uh, he has a second one called Slammin' Volume 2, which is essentially the same thing as this one, just with new pictures. Uh, so if you guys haven't checked them out already, Dale Decker, awesome, awesome, awesome work. Like, just look at that. It's very my style too, it's very urban, it's very street. Um, I don't know, there's something about his work. It's just beautiful. I'm gonna show you guys one of the zines that I made in the past and it's not that good, let me just tell you now. Uh, it's this thing right here, it's called Frozen in Time. So it's substantially smaller than his zine. It's probably because of the layout I used. So yeah, so I shot all of this on Portra 400. On the front it says Frozen in Time. So that's the front page. Now the front picture right here is actually, it was taken in an elevator, so we were going down, and this dude was walking out into the parking garage. But I took the picture right when those elevator doors were closing, so it kind of framed the shot. So that was the first picture on the front page. All right, so the first page, the first picture is of my friend Andrew Brown. He's sitting on this wall, and the wall is pretty damn high. It was like maybe 10, not 10, it was probably like 20 feet high. Uh, this was all shot at UC Berkeley. This is my friend Tanner little portrait of him okay so now this is a little portrait of him as well uh, sitting off of the ledge of like this little like catwalk type of thing and this is a picture of Berkeley of the streets of Berkeley if you guys ever seen my video uh, a trip downtown these shots were off from it next page you know some more shots of the streets some more shot of the street You know, a shot of a wall, a mural, and this right here is a shot of some dude walking away. And so this right here is probably the main page. It's a full layout, laid out page. Uh, this is a picture of some random dude talking on the phone, but I noticed they walking straight down this, uh, I was walking down the sidewalk and I looked to the left on the alleyway and I saw this guy and it just looked really dramatic, especially with the way he was talking on the phone. So went ahead and snapped the picture. On the side here is a little bit of like words. It's a little, I think it's a poem. I don't know what it says, what is it? Every second, every minute, every day, time never stops. Until you press the shutter button, then you're frozen in time. So yeah, that's that. It's a little corny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I have this one right here. I'm probably not gonna get into it too much. It's uh, it's a little, yeah, it's like street stuff from me and Drew. So yeah, I've actually made a lot of these in the past, just have never published them out in the public, uh, mainly for my own use. So if you guys are willing to look at one, or you know, if you want one, hit me up on Instagram. Damn, that was a loud ass clap. All right.